Yo people, welcome back and this is your Premier League Game Week 21 Part 1 Preview whose Premier League fixtures are split in half of um, five teams that aren't playing this week on a winter break and then the next set and these teams will also have a winter break next weekend depending if you're playing in the Cups or so so yeah, but exciting game to look forward to, of course, the relegation six-pointer and then um, the two big clashes of the weekend, which is Newcastle against Manchester City and Manchester United against Tottenham. So let's get straight into all of them. the first game taking place tonight is Burnley against Luton Town of course Burnley um, beat Luton Town in the reverse fixture which was a big surprise in everyone's eyes and Luton um, do have a decent record of late day um, at Turf Moor of course drew 1-1 one, one day last season um, which was a good point for them and yeah, Turf Moor, it has its ups and downs, uh, Burnley at Turf Moor. Um, sometimes they, they beat teams like Sheffield United 5-0. Other times they lose uh, 3-1, 2-0. So, yeah, Luton, of course, were on a good run, beat Newcastle. Uh, and I want to say... Um, who else did they beat? Uh, yeah, beat Newcastle and someone else. Then, of course, lost to my club, Chelsea, um, in a 3-2 game. It was 3-0 up and then two, two uh, late goals for Luton. Almost snuck a draw there in the end. But, yeah, um, they drew 0-0 to Bolton in the cup, which isn't the best. Um for them, so yeah, um, this one, it's a tough one to call because you don't know if it will be high scoring because both teams will maybe try out and go out for the win. It's a must one for both or will it be narrow? Both teams cancel each other out. I'm going to go with that. Both teams cancel each other out, not high scoring. 3-2-2-2, two, two, two. Um, but I see someone winning, and that is Luton Town with a win, 2-1 win, um, so they also get the job done. Next game is, of course, early kickoff, West London Derby, South West London Derby, to be specific. It's Chelsea against Fulham, because Fulham did really well against Liverpool, and probably could have snuck a draw or even a win if they put some of their chances away. Um, Chelsea, it's a gift that keeps on giving to our rival. Um, when they lost the Middlesbrough team, looked uninspiring. Pochettino, don't know what he was thinking with his subs, with his tactics. Um, yeah, it's... It's an absolute madness what's going on with us. Do I back us to get this win? Um, no. Do, do, do I think there's a chance that we could win? Yes. Because Fulham are mid-table for a reason. They do have their ups and downs. But this game, I reckon both teams almost cancel each other out. A proper mid-table clash. 1-1 one, one draw. Next game, we travel to Goodison Park. Um, where Villa will take on Everton. Now, Villa do have a good record at Goodison Park. But Villa are struggling away from home. Only winning four out of the nine matches away from home. So, in saying that... 
Everton also have a few problems, of course, Onana um, is not there, and I think the core is off to the AFCON, so probably one of probably the two best midfielders they have are not available for them to pick, which is a bit of a letdown for Everton, of course, three losses in a row also for Everton. Um, Villa in the cup came back 1-0 win. I think Everton drew or lost, um, if I'm not wrong. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, but I know Middles, yeah, Middles, of course, barely lost to Villa in the uh, FA Cup uh, 1-0 with a wonderful strike from Matty Cash um, to send Villa through. So, coming into this game, I think both teams are quite evenly matched if Everton had the Yoda Kore and your Nana. Without them, I think Vela will win this one. I'm going to go 2-1 Vela win. Way win for the villains. Make that their fifth away win of the season. Um, yeah. Next, of course, is... Uh, Sunday double header. It's two massive double headers. Um, it's of course Manchester City. No, sorry, Newcastle United against Man City is the first one, and Man United against Tottenham. It was a big game for City to get back into the title race. First, there will be two points off Liverpool before, but um, before Liverpool play again in the Premier League. Um, and then uh, Tottenham for their top four race. But Newcastle and Man United both are 8th and ninth. If both of them lose and Chelsea win, Chelsea go above them. So it's a big game for those two teams. Because United, they get a the draw. They, they stay there. But um, Newcastle, if they want to stay above Chelsea... Depending on Chelsea results, they will need to win. Of course, they will know what the circumstances is not to drop further down the table when they play each other on Sunday. Um, Newcastle, Man City, it's an interesting one because City are starting to come back to their best. We're seeing some good play. Foden is cooking um, for the first time in a uh, to be fair, he's been one of the best players. I can't even say for the first time in a while. Um, Newcastle, of course, no Joe Linton for them. But they are starting to get some injury, um, injuries back. So I believe Botman's back. Ben is, is going to be back soon if he's not already back. So they're getting players back. Um... Isaac, Gordon, for they smashed Sunderland 3-0. Um, City, for five 5-4-0 against Huddersfield Town. They're looking like the best will KDB start is the big one. Um, but I reckon City, of course, last season it was 3-3. I think this time it will be closer. Um... Not so high scoring. I'm gonna go two one, two one to um, Manchester City, and then the last game is Manchester United against Tottenham. Ten Hag against Big Ange, Timo Werner, of course, return to the Premier League. Will he start? It would be amazing to see him start for Tottenham. Hopefully, bad uh, a hat trick against. Man United, um, yeah, Tottenham looking good, uh, signed a new centre-back, um, Eric Dyer uploaded him finally to Bayern Munich, excuse me there people, I just had a sneeze um, coming, uh, so yeah, and um, yeah, well, uh, what else is going for Tottenham? Of course, the uh, yeah, Dragerson 
centre back Dyer offloading. So it's a good vibe around Tottenham right now. But the main concern is that high line. Um, of course, we saw what United did against Aston Villa when Villa played that high line. Um, but Villa would turn up. I don't mean, they would turn up, and then United came back. So I don't know. This one is a tricky one. Um, but I'm gonna go. Ooh. Two, nah, let, let's spice things up. Three, three, two. Three, two Tottenham. I scoring game. Both teams will be open. Um, I don't know who will be there for for United to back the goals. Um, maybe Dallo again to save them. But yeah, Tottenham. Let's see what they can do. Of course, they don't record at... Um, Old Trafford isn't good. Their record wasn't good at the Etihad, and they won at the well, true, all at the Etihad, three three. Um, so yeah, but that's part one finished. Let me know what you guys' predictions are for this weekend and the rest of Game Week Twenty One's um, games we will do next weekend. Of course, part one now done. Let's see how the games turn out. Make sure like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow socials below.